They did it. They aired the most divisive, the most controversial security camera footage since the time that woman put a cat in a bin. The all-in brawl between CM Punk and Jack Perry was aired on Dynamite last night. Let's let's get into it. What what shall did we? Shall we? <laughs> Why not? Roll footage. We Don't can't. roll footage. We'll get we'll get YMCA'd because they're bringing everybody down who's showing it. They certainly are. So no doubt you've seen the footage by now, but we're going to talk you through it just in case. In case you haven't, if you haven't managed to find yourself a copy, because as Tom says, they are all going down. Uh, the footage shows around. Uh, Punk and Perry having words. Uh, Punk approaching Perry first, uh, and then after about 15, 20 seconds of, of Punk and Perry ch- talking to each other. Jack Perry th- throwing his hair a little bit. Yes, uh, uh, and then Punk pushes Perry uh, and then appears to choke him. Uh, Samoa Joe, Jerry Lynn rushing in to split the two up. Lynn and Chris Hero pulling Punk away while Samoa Joe holds Jack Perry on the other side of the room. And then Malachi Black is there also, uh, speaking to Punk, who eventually just pushes everybody away, storms off, seemingly shouting at somebody off screen. Fans are speculating that that's Tony Khan, but us eagle-eyed pairs who have watched it about eight times by now. Um, we think we've seen Tony at the back. I mean, it's grainy footage. It's difficult to yeah. work out, but it appears that he's not talking to Tony at that point. Um, Young Bucks uh, aired this in kayfabe as a way to build their upcoming match with FTR, Cash Wheeler, Dax Harwood, who, of course, are close personal friends of CM Punk. Uh, they said that, hey, FTR must have been the masterminds of that situation. One's designed to throw the Bucks off their game before the big match, but they take that back. I, I, I thought that was actually quite a funny bit because they went, look, because your friend did that, we couldn't hydrate, we couldn't pray before our match. It threw us off the game. And, and genuinely, I know this is all very... Very silly. I thought that was very funny. You know what? <laughs> if you're going to tie it in in some way, that's a really good way to do it. I think you've got to give props to the talent involved here for making the best out of a bad situation. We also heard from FTR last night as well. But <laughs> Who were everyone else. Yes, <laughs> basically. They, they, they really have done their best with what they were given. Obviously, the decision has been made to air this footage. Um, is it the right decision? Let's talk about that, Tom. Well, um, I want to quickly touch on the fact that when FTR did come out, Mm. they did basically play the role of the rest of the world because they went, why are you playing that? Why are we talking about this? Let's just move on. We've got a pay-per-view next weekend. And I thought that was, again, like you say, the talent working with the the material they've got to make it happen. I don't... Now, I mean, in terms of what it proved, okay, because the idea was this has all come off the back of CM Punk doing that interview with MMA Hour where he described the all-in situation and unless there was something in here that was like completely off from what Punk said you wonder why you play it there was a few things in there that were slightly different in the sense that when Punk spoke on MMA Hour he said Perry approached him Mm -hmm. it's very clear that he approaches Perry Uh, however we can't hear what is said we don't know what because Punk says oh Jack Perry challenged him to do something about it so he did Uh, Punk did indeed strike first like Han Solo Uh, and, uh, and that has led to people going well that's Punk being unprofessional and, and there is obviously a school of thought that, yeah, punching a colleague is unprofessional. I don't know how else you can well, do sho- it, really. Shoving a colleague. It, people are saying punch, but okay, I, I, shove. I saw shoves personally. Maybe a two punches. Yeah, maybe. It's a shove, just not a punch with better intention. Try organ. <laughs> <laughs> so he took him to the ground, mm. gave him the E-Honda punches. Now, um, I, I don't... I, I feel like this doesn't come across the way that maybe AEW and Tony Khan intended it to. See, I'm going to go one step further and say, Tom, I think they've embarrassed themselves. Oh, okay. First of all, right, I think uh, I think Punk is still in the wrong. You don't do that. I know it's wrestling and everything, but colleagues, you don't physically assault them. Let's just get that out of the way first. Whatever your, your opinion on wrestling is, uh, wrestling has changed a great deal and you shouldn't be doing that. They should have they should have talked it out uh, and Tony should have been there or one of one of his underlings should have been there to, to supervise that discussion. I think that was the right thing to do. However, as you say, um, this is this is basically what Punk described. Yeah, maybe there's a few minor inconsistencies, but not enough for anybody to go, whoa, he was lying the whole time. Punk's been vindicated here. Punk has yeah. been vindicated, and it has made everybody involved, seemingly in the eyes of most fans, except for CM Punk, look like wallies. <laughs> Complete and utter wallies. You've got Jack, P- Jack Perry, one of the pillars of AEW, right? He looks like... 
a bit of a wimp at this point, <laughs> despite the fact that he's up against CM Punk, right, who is a legit trained fighter and everything, he has been made to look like an absolute fool. But the joy is, me being playing devil's avocado on this, the joy is that you can lean into that. The fact that he just got like beaten up backstage that when he comes back you can have some fun with that as jack you know jack perry could chill on my way in i'll tell you what this drew comparisons with if this is this is how i if this was if this is the tool set though tool set that was given like in apollo 13 mm -hmm. right make an angle out of this right i'd have <laughs> you could have jack perry lead into the fact that you know how seth rollins was cody rhodes shield yeah and he took a shot in order to save him from Roman Reigns. Jack Perry getting punched by CM Punk took CM Punk out of AEW and made the Young Bucks happier. So the Young Bucks should, in storyline, reward Jack Perry for, for getting rid of the toxicness in the locker room. You could really have fun with that. From you're, this point on. No, you're doing what the talent have done and made the best out of a bad situation. I'm doing for the Apollo sure. 13 no, no, thing no, no, with no, all no, the picks on the table. Totally, totally get it. Um, however, uh, nobody's invested in the angle. They're invested in CM Punk. The fans in attendance, the most passionate fans you've got, the people that have paid for tickets, were chanting CM Punk by the end of this video. That is embarrassing. I will address the fact that there was a video that did the rounds of the crowd chanting CM Punk, and there were people that uh, have, I think, replied even to our Twitter that went, yeah, but this is just one set of people and one angle. So we have shared another angle from another part of the arena that is also chanting CM Punk. Sure. So there was a lot of CM Punk chants when that went down, which I, I mean, why would you not think that would happen? CM Punk was trending on Twitter during Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Surely they knew that would happen. Yeah, like, for sure. That was, was going to go, way A-E-Dub, A-E-Dub. Well, that, that was the goal, wasn't it? They're saying that this was, to, this was to build to the tag match. This was to give that some more oomph. But really, this was a way of trying to embarrass CM Punk. In my opinion, that was, that was, that's my belief. Uh, I think that was the intention here. I don't think it's achieved that at all. Everybody's talking about CM Punk, who is now in a different company. The only winner in all of this, because it sure as hell isn't Tony Khan, is Drew McIntyre, because yes! now he has so much material to work with. Honestly, I think I think it was a terrible move. People are comparing it to WCW in the year 2000. Is that a step too far? I think probably, but I do think this is something that we're going to look back on and think, what the hell was Tony Khan thinking? Oh, it's a it's a it's a war. Now the reaction from the footage has been uh, across the internet as you'd expect uh, a few WWE talent popping up and talking about it Corey Graves sharing a gif from the Wizard of Oz uh, it's the scene where Toto pulls back the uh, the curtain and you see the actual wizard and he's there going pay no attention to the man behind the curtain <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely we had Sean Spears former AEW talent Sean Spears sharing a gif of a guy in the gym throwing a medicine ball against the wall and it hitting him in the face uh, Cedric Alexander sharing a Dave Chappelle clip where he went you know even if he did do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> As if to go, you probably deserved it. Uh, CM Punk himself, of course, uh, has spoken about it too. Yeah, posting just a picture of George Bush of all people <laughs> on the USS Abraham Lincoln in 2003, a big banner behind him, which you can see uh, saying, mission accomplished, to poking fun at the whole situation. It's obviously not gone down the way that Tony Khan has intended it to do. And I honestly think, by and large, uh, and it's a, it's maybe this is a generalization. Uh, this is this has helped CM Punk more than it's hindered him. It, it has because he's done essentially a Rick Rude and appeared on Raw and Dynamite in the week after WrestleMania, which yep. is impressive in this day and age. But uh, <laughs> this is even Forbes, <laughs> even I know, I know. Forbes. <laughs> Who, who document the, the hoi, the hoi polloi and the richest and the best in the world. They took a shot at AEW with this when they did their write-up for Dynamite, because in the results for Dynamite, it lists CM Punk defeated Jack Perry. <laughs> Even Forbes. I'm waiting for Woman's Own to, to give us an input on that as well. I want to say, by the way, uh, and I should have said this at the start, I love AEW. I want AEW to succeed, and any good wrestling fan should want AEW to succeed because it means there's more wrestling to watch, which mm. is, is grand. There's more places for the talent to go, and it drives competition. Uh, part of the reason that I think uh, WWE has stepped up their game, in part, is not just because Vince McMahon's gone and Triple H has taken over, but but also because they've got some proper competition now. They've got 100%. competition uh, and it drives everybody to be their best. 
I don't think this is AEW at their best. No. Uh, I think it's a long, long way away from it. I want AEW to be brilliant. And they've had so many good weeks recently. The last five or so weeks of AEW TV for me have been spot on. I've loved it. Uh, this was a massive, massive disappointment. And if they are going with the line that, hey, this is to this is to further and push the Bucks FTR match, I think it's just caused a distraction. I think it's taken away from that mm. those four guys. I really do. I think it has as well. Uh, a few hours after this air, Dave Meltzer got into uh, a bit of a conversation on Twitter with somebody who said they had experience with handling brands and marketing, and even they thought this was a terrible idea. Uh, not that they needed that experience to make that decision, which is true. Uh, Dave Meltzer commented on this saying, nobody thought it was a good idea going in. Whether ratings are good or not, seemingly inferring to the fact that AEW talent and staff didn't agree that airing the footage was the right thing to do. It's and worth mentioning there that, sorry, he, he could have been talking about wrestling fans and journalists and that, thinking this isn't a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but I think that inference was that maybe people in AEW didn't think this was a great idea. Hey, right, if this was just a ratings grab, then I can understand why they would do that. They've got this very juicy footage, and I imagine uh, that 15-minute window was watched by a lot of people. Mm. Maybe the run-up to that 15 minutes, we're all waiting for it to happen. It, 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 Where it has, do you take it from there? Have you retained those yeah. viewers? Uh, no, I think they've tuned in. They've gone, oh, is that it? And then they've gone. Mm. If you were looking to appeal to new viewers, this was a foolish way to do it because it wasn't as juicy as has been made out. And most importantly, it matches what CM Punk said, mm. by and large, by and large. And I think if any of us were recollecting things that have happened last year, uh, we would get minor details wrong. Heat of the moment, yeah. he's probably not seen that footage, potentially not seen that footage. I would get stuff wrong as well. Uh, I think CM Punk is a snake oil salesman. I think he is one of the best talkers going and he can make you believe anything. But in this case he told the truth and i think you have to i, I think you have to give give respect where it's due because i do think he told the truth and i think now he is hotter than ever and part of that is thanks to tony khan and he runs the promotion that cm punk doesn't even work for anymore <laughs> the promotion he was sacked from yes well your thoughts are welcome sacked down from there. he said he left he said he left make up your own minds on that as well oh yeah either or either or <laughs> With cause, either way. Uh, stick on a hazmat suit and check out the comments and let us know what you think <laughs> of uh, of the footage being aired on Dynamite last night. And we'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.